Halo. Halo, Masal. Hai, how are you? Halo. Halo. Hai. Oke. Okay. Oh, can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, how are you? Mm, I'm fine. <laughs> Let me see what specially. No. Mm -hmm. Hold on. So what did you do today? Did you attend your dance class? Mm, yeah. How was it? Uh from the class is from Six o'clock to seven p.m. Mm -hmm. Six o'clock to seven p.m. Mm -hmm. But I feel tired. Me too. Is it near in your house, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. But I feel quite tired. Mm -hmm. Okay. So can you please read the example? I'm oh, yeah, sorry. What kind of dance did you make? Like jumping. Mm -hmm. Jumping, do you know? Yeah, I know jumping. Only jumping? I, yes, only jumping. Well, I don't like uh, Arabic or yoga. No. Mm -hmm. So what kind of dance is that? That, that is only jumping. Oh, okay. It's Arabic and yoga. You can share it on the internet. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think I think yoga is for seniority. Ooh. For seniors. Yoga is for seniors too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. <laughs> oh, I, I have doing. I have done yoga, but now I don't play it. You don't can't. like it? Yeah. Because they understand. Alright, so are you are you ready now to continue our class? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can you please read the example? Mm. What make a list of prison present facilities for study? A list mm -hmm. of the facilities you are using for your studies nowadays, then take it the ones you think was were not available about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. So, make or write the facilities you are using for your studies. For example, uh, a board, a bookshelf, a projector, things like that. And tell me, um, after you write it all, now, tell me those things or facilities that you think that is not available 20 years ago. Did you understand? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so just write the things or facilities you are using now, okay? I'm using... Okay. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Now... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me see. Projector, computer, and what?
喂。Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Uh, okay. Is an essential example. Mm -hmm. Projector, computer, and calculator. Yes. So, which in these facilities that was not or were not available about 20 years ago? Not 20, not half 20 years ago. Mm, sorry, but I don't know how they can study without it. Yes, 20 years ago. Do you think? There's already a, do you think there's projector, computer before, 20 years ago? Do you know what it called, the, the pen, quick, no, the pen, um, made by, uh, uh, what, bird tail, bird tail, mm -hmm. So it, it here. Mm -hmm. 
Bird tail. Yeah, what about bird tail? No, no, do the pen. Made by bird tail. No, Miss Amelia. I don't know what it called. Oh, yeah, 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 I know that. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it called? Mm, I have forgot because I'm not familiar with that. But yeah, why? What about it? I think they use it. Mm. Paper? Mm -hmm. Pen. Okay, so I think this is enough. Okay, so yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's continue. Very good. So here, can you please read this? In your writing, you should include oh, no, facility. No. No, no, the instruction first. Uh, choose on facility which was not available twenty years ago, and write a short description of how students in the past. Study without that facility. Mm -hmm. In your writing, you should include what facility it is, what is it is used for, how students did the job in the past when they didn't have it. How do you feel about the change? Change. Okay. Did you understand change. the instru instruction?
Yes. Are you done? Yeah. Oh. Can you please read this? Twenty years ago, people didn't have the internet computer. It's very useful. We can search the information, web news, to develop the knowledge and even study online. When students didn't have computer, they had to find all the things in books in the libraries. Sometimes they went out to see by their eyes the animals, or collect things to uh, or collected things to do experiment, experiments. I think that the trend in change in technology gives us a modern life so convenient that we have internet and do everything. Yes, very good. All right. So, are you happy that you live uh, in these years, not in, not twenty years ago? Are you happy that you live this year? Yeah, I'm, not I'm very years. happy. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine without the computer, without everything. Okay, so let's continue. And your sentence and grammars here are all correct. Good job. So now, choose the best answer A, B, or C to complete the sentences. Please read each number together with your answer. The children in my home village used to go barefooted even in winter. Now they all have shoes. There is usually a generation gap between the old and the young, especially when the world is changing so fast, every oh. nation has respect. Hold well, on, what is your hundred and your for number one? Number one is barefooted. Okay, hold on. Number two is a generation. Number one is that. Number three is every nation has respect for their long preserved uh, traditions. Mm -hmm. See, in Vietnam, seniority often refers to age and shows. Uh, no? 
generation us. Generation mm. often refers to act and social position, not to wealth. Mm -hmm. Giving lucky money to the young and the old attacks a common tradition in many Asian countries. Tradition? Yeah. See? Okay, so let's see if we get the correct answer. Very good. The children in my home village used to go barefooted even in winter. Now they all have shoes. There is usually a genera generation gap between the old and the young, especially when the world is changing so fast. For number three, every nation has respect for the long-preserved traditions. Number four, in Vietnam, seniority often refers to age and social position, not to wealth. Oh, I like this number four. Because, you know, in some country, if the person is or has a power or wealth, or if the person is wealthy, then they call it seniority. So that is so lame. Okay, number five, giving lucky money to the young and the old attack is a common tradition in many Asian countries. Oh, it's practice, not tradition. Can you see? Hello? Yeah. Did you see? I can see oh number number four I I first I, I think seniority but after that I change and I nice. change generation. <laughs> no, that's okay. Oh. So you've got three correct answers. That's fine. Okay. Let's move forward. You've, you've Okay, so here, match the verbs in A with their definitions in B. So please match, uh, yeah, match letter A to letter B. Let's start. Mm. Mm. I thought per circle in the chain dial. Bring together, perform, bring in play, no longer passes, keep alive. One is me, perform. Perform, out, out, perform. Yeah. Mm Preserve it, it keep alive. Mm -hmm. Three collect is bring together. Bring together. Bring together. Okay. How about number four? Entertain is bring enjoyment. Entertainment, pre-enjoyment. Number five. Number five is die out is no longer exist. It's die. No longer exist. Okay, so let's see. Letter number one, it's letter B. Hold on. It's letter B, good job. Number two, it's letter E. Number three, it's letter A. Number four, it's letter C. 
And number five is the letter D. Very good. So, on the lower part, please read the instruction. In a smart chair, like listening to announce. Choose the verb in A in their correct forms to complete the sentences in A. Mm -hmm. Use the verbs in A in their correct forms to complete the sentence. Smart children like listening to and Someone sure like listening to and act out stories. Act out. And writing a letter is a pastime that is beginning to to entertain. Mm -hmm. I'm already beginning to miss it. Entertain. And uh, should we try to um, so preserve every custom? Four. Three is number one. Oh, no, three is number two. Should we try to preserve every custom or tradition which is in danger of dying out? Preserve is number four. Oh, so sorry, sorry. I have to change. Number two. Handwriting, handwriting a letter is a pastime that is beginning to die out. So it's number five. Five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, his collect data for his uh, his collect data for his book values in the past. Number five. She often entertains the children by telling the, them stories and acting them out. Number what is number four? This is okay. So let's see if you get the correct answers. Oh, very good. Small children like listening to and acting out stories. Hand writing a letter is a pastime that is beginning to die out. I'm already beginning to miss it. Number three, should we try to preserve? every custom or tradition which is in danger for de of dying out. Number four, he's collecting data for his book values in the past. And for number five, she often entertains her children by telling them stories and acting them out. Wow, very good. You got all the correct answers. Good job. So let's continue. Please read the Instruction. Instruction. Write true sentences about the practice of the following things in the past you didn't use to and didn't use to. Mm -hmm. Write true sentences about the practice of the following things in the past using used to and didn't use to. Do you want an example? Mm, no. Mm -hmm. Man used to. What? <laughs> uh, oh, I, I, I know, I know, I know. I know.
từ Brad Winner. <laughs> you still stuck in number one? No, I typed the number six. But I don't know what is Brad Winner. Mm -hmm. You have to find it out. I'm drinking a oh, vitamin this. tea right now. How about you? Oh, what? What? I'm drinking a vitamin C. How about you? Vitamin C? Yeah. What, what did you drink? Cereal? No, it's not. milk. Nope. It's uh it's a vitamin C. Here. Vitamin C. No, no, it's a vitamin. I oh, vi vitamin C. So I think you drink milk. <laughs> yeah. But I do drink milk. I drink milk sometimes for my dinner because I don't cook. Uh, I don't cook rice. So I just drink milk, milk during the night. Okay, so let's see your answers. Where should I put this? Oh. Okay, so let's check your work. Okay, can you please read the your correct answers? Man used to be the breadwinner of the family. Woman didn't used to oh I can't be. Woman didn't used to go to work. Sorry. <laughs> People didn't used to travel on holiday. Families didn't used to be nuclear. People used to make men chung a tip themselves. Oh, not by themselves. Children used to play outdoor games. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. Man used to be the breadwinner of the family is very good. So do you know what is the meaning of breadwinner? No. You still don't know? But your answer is correct. <laughs> breadwinner means the one who the one who provides everything for the family. Since the women can't work. They are the ones who feed their family, who gives money for clothes and, and everything. So they, we call it breadwinner. Did you understand? Hello? Yeah. Okay. All right. So for number two, women didn't just get to go to work. <clears throat> number three, people. Oh, the answer is, yeah. The, oh, no. The answer is people didn't used to travel on holiday. Number four, families didn't used to be nuclear. Number five, people used to make men. Oh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Number six, children used to play outdoor games. So you've got the five correct answers. Your mistake is number three. People didn't used to travel on holiday. Why do you think that people don't travel on holiday? Mm, because they, oh, because uh, in the past, it has virus. No, <laughs> no, oh. no, no, no. Why do you think people don't travel before? 
because they don't have enough money to travel and traveling is quite expensive before that people think they don't afford it and traveling is not a thing before Mm, I think they don't like going out. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so here, read the situations and write wishes you want to make for them. Okay. Please, before we start, please read number one to five. situation and what wishes you want to make for them. Your village does not have a set to clean pipes water. Uh, your school is one on the other side of a river and you have to cross the river by both twice a day to school. There is no organization for social activities for teenagers in your town. You are interested in basketball but you are not tall enough for the sport. In your area there are only two seasons during what you love autumn and spring. So, oh, okay. All right. So, hello, Anne. What? Since it's oh. almost our time, we are just going to, to continue uh, this tomorrow, okay? Okay. All right. So, thank you so much for tonight and see you again. Good night. Mm, thank you. You too. Good night.